In this tutorial, we will present the novelties regarding the orientations that have been introduced with PVSYST 8. First, we will present the new orientation window and the new orientation choices it allows. Second, we will show some tools that can help define orientations when working in the 3D scene. In the new orientation window, in this central zone all orientation will appear. Here, a fixed tilt orientation is already defined. You can access orientations by folding and unfolding. To add an orientation, you click on the button Add Orientation. The orientation is added to the list of orientations. If there is more than one orientation, the trash bin icon will allow you to delete an orientation. There can never be less than one orientation in a valid variant. In PVSYST 8, there are more checks to guarantee that the 3D scene matches well with electrical system definitions. For each orientation, this frame will give you an overview of the two orientations in the term of area and number of modules. This status indicator will also highlight the orientations with some errors or mismatch between 3D and system module areas. It is now possible to define one or multiple trackers orientations alongside with fixed tilt orientations. There is also no limitation on the number of orientations, so let's add a new one. You can also define orientations of type unlimited along with orientation that requires a 3D scene. The 3D scene has now an extra panel that lists the existing orientations. It is possible to color the orientations. Each PV surface assigned to the orientations will be painted in a color. The legend for the colors is in the orientations panel. The orientations management will allow you to reassign the PV tables among orientations. In the orientation tab, you can view all tables in the scene and assign them to the orientations by drag and dropping. If the orientations don't match, there will be a message box that lets you choose whether to override the original orientations or define an average orientation. Let's now review the Analysis tab. This tab allows you to visualize the orientations in the azimuth tilt space. When creating a new PV table in the orientation frame, you choose to assign it to an existing orientation. A window will show where you can define a new orientation. Let us cancel and show another feature. When choosing a pre-existing orientation, you can also decide to change it to an average orientation. By checking this box, the orientation becomes averages, which means that this table orientation can be defined with its own independent angles. The orientation angles are now editable. Defining an average orientation is convenient, for example, when each table's orientation is affected by the topography.